As Governor Cuomo's New York state barred people from visiting their loved ones in nursing homes, his state simultaneously forced infected patients into the same places. And now we hear of an extra 1,700 deaths at these homes, the death count nearly 5,000. So unlike other parts of the world where people try to slow the spread, this action accelerated it. Thank God Chris Cuomo pressed his brother on it. Do you think that you are an attractive person now? because you're single and ready to mingle? Do you really think you are some desirable single person and that this is not just people's pain think, coming out of them? I think uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm, well, it helps to have a brother in the news business and have a brother in government. Then scandals have a way of disappearing in a big shrug. Plus, it means more time to bash Trump. The president acknowledging that reopening our country will likely kill more of us, but we got to get our country back. How can he accept that when he hasn't even come close to doing what he can to avoid more pain and death? Oh, really? What do you think this shutdown is? You think evil, selfish Trump would crater the greatest economy ever for poops and giggles? Wait, you probably do. And in case you missed it, we are already spending trillions. Why is that? Well, actually, the president has mentioned that more than you. There has been so much unnecessary death in this country. After all this death, death that we've suffered, the whole world is suffering. The possible number of death, countries now are suffering. It's been a horrible time to see such death. Tremendous death and economic devastation. The virus inflicted immense physical suffering on many people, but also mental and emotional suffering. Of course, Cuomo ignored that, like he also ignores the severe steps Trump's taken to fight the virus, which didn't include issuing death sentences for the helpless elderly in nursing homes. You just know the media wishes this is something else they could have pinned on Trump. Which reminds me of another ignored story involving an anchor who scolds you for violating shutdowns. Look at these fools. Fools. I know they want to be out there. Fools. It's not about you. What about the other people? And look, I'm not going to castigate you. That's not my job. I'm not your daddy. <laughs> I just called them fools. But you must remember that incident with the bicyclist, right? How did Cuomo fight with this guy while he was in quarantine? I don't want some jack loser, fat tire biker um, to be able to pull over uh, and get in my face and in my space and talk to me. I don't want to hear it. That happened before he staged that uh, miraculous emergence from his basement. So Chris saves his moral outrage, not for friends and family, but for you, even though he's no angel. But hey, for CNN, nothing's better than brotherly love including the truth. So, uh, uh, Katie, who came, I, who came up with this idea to shuttle infected <laughs> patients with, into the most vulnerable po uh, population? I, I, it doesn't make sense. I mean, you, you had this giant ship on West Side Highway, right, that was underused. You had Javits Center, and you send. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's my question. Yeah. I thought you were going to ask me who came up with the idea of the Cuomo brother interviewing the other Cuomo brother <laughs> yes. and thinking it would be a good thing. Um, it, it seems like the people at the nursing homes and the government decided it was a good idea to put uh, elderly people who were infected back into the nursing homes, despite evidence prior to this, that this disease spread like wildfire inside these nursing homes. Because as you remember, some of the first cases that we had were in Washington state in the nursing home where we had the first uh, mass amounts of deaths from this disease. And you're absolutely right. The federal government gave them the U.S. Uh, NS Comfort. They had the Javits Center that went widely unused. And yet instead, they took people who were sick and put them back into a vulnerable population inside. And then there were consequences for those people in dying. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just horrible. Mm -hmm. Someone you has know, to be well, held responsible mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, you know, uh, Juan, even though the Democrats love to blame Trump for everything, I'm not going to blame Andrew Cuomo for this. Should we just blame it on Trump anyway, just to get it out of the way? <laughs> I, I think that would make you happy. I think that would make your day, man. That's like Clint Eastwood. But I, I think uh, one of the realities is, you know, you look at Cuomo, and 
Let me tell you, I don't think Cuomo's all that popular, at least prior to this, in New York State, but now mm -hmm. his popularity is way up there nationally, which is an amazement to me politically. Because, but I think it's as a result of those afternoon briefings, uh, and I think it, he filled a void because he really was going hard with the PowerPoints and the facts and all that. And I think a lot of people just tuned in and said, you know, this is interesting, and started to appreciate the fact that he was science-based. So I guess that opened the door. It's why all of a sudden he gets all this TV time. Uh, way beyond his brother, but yes, including from his brother and those silly questions about he's uh, single and ready to mingle. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, Dana, to Juan's yeah. point, he is definitely popular among the media. So the media keeps talking that he's science-based or fact-based and isn't he awesome, but they choose not to actually look at the nursing home scandal or that he was egging on yeah, the population a... to actually live a normal yeah. life as the uh, outbreak continued or started. Uh, so I was, wa I, in fact, so I was watching his briefing yesterday, and he was going on, and he, I, and look, I understand why people think it's entertaining. He's got all these powerpoints, and he's like the, up there like a professor, and you tune in to class every day. But uh, when he goes to take questions, and the first question is about these nursing homes and these deaths, and he says, "Yeah, I don't really, I, I don't know anything about, the, yeah, no. Um, you want to answer that?" And he turns it over to somebody else, and so. These questions are going to keep coming up, and especially because uh, Bill de Blasio, the mayor, has also already been asked about this, and he immediately said, oh, it has to be private equity's problem, right? Any mm. uh, of these private equity companies that had invested into nursing homes. But somebody had to make the guidance and the ruling to send the COVID patients back to the nursing homes and not to the places you suggested. Also, Greg, I'm not the best at whataboutism, though I'm going to try it. So okay. the camera caught me touching my <laughs> face, so I'm probably going to get, uh, you know, some sort of, like, violation because... Yes. Um, you're not supposed to touch your face, and Jesse's told us that. But I have to believe that if Jesse Waters had been uh, diagnosed with coronavirus, and he had been in his basement, and he had been doing all of these things, and then he was the one who went and got in a fight with the loser, fat tire, bicycle guy, do you think that <laughs> Jesse Waters ever would have heard the end of that? Yeah. And instead, nope. CNN actually did a mock reemergence, <laughs> like a fake reemergence for the cameras. <laughs> like, imagine if we did that. We you didn't do it. You know what's funny? You have made a very astute comparison between Jesse and Chris Cuomo. I never thought of it before. <laughs> <laughs> you are our Chris Cuomo. Right. Jesse, no, I'm kidding. I, I'm, not, I'm kidding. <laughs> By the no, way, did you know? My don't don't do that on. to Jesse, man. Come on. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yes, that's the kind of whataboutism, Dana, I definitely approve of. So if you, if you think about this, you oh, have the really? governor of the state <laughs> with the highest death count who told everybody not to worry about this thing and who shuttled infected people into nursing homes being interviewed by his brother who got infected by who knows how, maybe not washing his hands, broke quarantine and is now shilling for China. And the media thinks that's great, because that's all the shtick CNN has. This would be like Don Jr. interviewing Eric, and the rest <laughs> of the media being like, oh, that was great. That, that was a great interview, guys. Like, no, that's not how it is. You know, that actually that isn't happening. a bad idea. I could see that as a special. <laughs> all right. Oh, my God.